and my son Benjamin and Anderson is with Wyatt and I thought it would be fun if they met right now. Look, that's gonna be your good buddy Wyatt. Talk about the cutest virtual play date ever. Best pals Anderson Cooper and Andy Cohen celebrated this year's Father's Day by introducing their sons to one another for the very first time. And it looks like the adorable tots will be besties in no time. Andy introduced his 16-month-old son, Benjamin, to Anderson's one-month-old son, Wyatt, on a recent episode of Watch What Happens Live. Little Benjamin and tired Wyatt really didn't know what to make of each other at first, but their proud dads made the sweet introductions. Ben, this is Wyatt. Ben, this is Wyatt Cooper. He's going to be your good buddy. That's going to be your good buddy. We're going to travel together. Yeah. And if you like him half as much as I like his daddy, you're going to be great friends. You know that? Wow. Oh, my God. Hi, there he is. Oh, my God. He Look at Wyatt. His he lower lip so... trembles every now and then. It's, it's very adorable. It's Boy, he's got those eyes. He's got those peepers, Anderson. Andy also noted that Anderson's baby boy, who was donning a blue and white striped ensemble, quote, looks like a mini version of the CNN anchor. <laughs> oh my God, Wyatt looks green? like a mini you, Anderson. I like his, someone sent uh, this, it looks like, like a bathing suit from the 1920s. I know, it really does. I mean... That your little baby is singing Edith Piaf wearing that outfit. You know, is... he's not singing Edith Piaf. No, I know. It makes a lot of squeaky sounds. Cuteness overload. Both of the dads welcomed their baby boys via surrogate. Benjamin was born in February 2019, and Wyatt was born on April 27, 2020. At the time of Wyatt's birth, Anderson took to Instagram to express his excitement over becoming a first-time dad. Writing, quote, as a gay kid, I never thought it would be possible to have a child. I'm grateful for all those who have paved the way and for the doctors and nurses and everyone involved in my son's birth. Most of all, I'm grateful to a remarkable surrogate who carried Wyatt and watched him lovingly and tenderly and gave birth to him. It's an extraordinary blessing what she and all surrogates give to family who can't have children. <laughs> 